It is something we really need to promote more, talk mm -hmm. about more. Um, I'm totally supportive of what they're of what, what's happening in Oak Ridge. Uh, they have a great public school system. They have a lot of things going for them as just a, a community too. But in terms of an economic asset and an educational asset and an asset for entrepreneurism and to attract even more business to Tennessee, Oak Ridge is something that is very valuable and, and, and I get it and I've, and I've been there quite a few times. Our time is uh, running down, but I want to fire uh, a couple final questions. Sure. First day in office, if you're elected, what would be your first thing that you do? Well, I think the first thing you do is, is ask members of the legislature to meet and discuss how we're going to solve the health care problem here in Tennessee. Um, how are you going to stop losing millions of dollars a day in funds that could have been coming here to help people have access to insurance? How are you going to stop rural communities from being devastated by hospital closures? That's what I would, I would do um, immediately. I would also um, work uh, to find ways that we could do more in education. To me, education is the key. As I said, it's my top priority, and I would, I would work hard on that. But there are, you know, the great thing about working in government is there are a lot of issues and a lot of things to work on, and this is a great state, and our best days, I truly believe, are ahead of us. And so if we focus on the basics, and this is, I think this is a bread and butters election. This is about who's going to improve education, who's going to help create jobs, and who's going to do the health care issues. And that's what I'll work on. I uh, read a, a recent article in, in an interview. You said you are the less partisan. Uh, you are less partisan than a lot of people in public life. I, so. I think it's my background. I mean, I, I, I go back to being a mayor, and I go back to being some living in Tennessee. I think Tennessee is a less partisan state. I think in recent years, uh, I think the legislature has gotten very, very partisan, and I don't think that's where people are. And I think my job as a mayor, where I had to, again, work with Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, that's who elected me. I was appealing to both parties. And I was successful at it. I was very pro-business and very, I think, progressive on social issues. But that's where people are. And, and, and so I'm, I think I'm probably the most, I'm the least partisan person in this race. And I'm proud of it. You just said that the legislature has gotten very partisan. Would, do you think they'd be willing to work with a Democratic sure. governor? If you get elected, I, th I sure would. And so the people of Tennessee say, this is the person we pick as governor, and he specifically campaigned on issues like education, health care, and jobs. I mean, they're, they're smart. We have 30 seconds left. When people go to the polls, be it early or November 6th, why should they vote for you? I think it's a combination of things. I think it's the experience. Um, I think it's my ability to work both with both parties. I think it is also that I'm very clear on what needs to be done. I am not going to ignore, for partisan reasons, the health care problem we have in the state. Governor Haslam and I are in total agreement on that. I'm not going to ignore all the work we have to work on, on, health, on education. Governor Haslam and I work well together on that. I work well on economic development with Phil Bredesen and Bill Haslam. So I've done it from both sides, and those are the things that matter. It's all this other stuff. Those are the issues that matter to this state. Carl Dean, thank you for your time. Thank we appreciate you. you. And that is going to do it for us. Thank you so much for watching Inside Tennessee. We'll see you back here next Sunday.